trying to get a well started. Oh, so you're Mr. Coast Drilling Company, huh? That's right, Roy Rogers. I put the order in for that equipment. And I'm giving the orders on this tub. Unload them, boys. Wait a minute. I told you I don't want this stuff unloaded here. Get that hook off and put that big crate back on. We've got to get it down to Yeah, but she said... Listen, mister, I give the orders here. Get off my tub. Ah! Ah! Oh, you filthy jarhead, you pushed me. Well, you did it yourself. Here, let me give you a hand. Not on your life, you lughead. Billy! Carl! Billy, what is the matter? This big knothead here thinks I'm going to haul his crates up and down the coast on a pleasure cruise. Look what he did to me, Carlos. That must be a sight. Boy, well, sure glad to see you. Alkali, what are you doing here, you old horse thief? <laughs> horse thief? Huh. Oh, Roy's just joking. Weren't you, Roy? Well, I... I'll have you know I got my old job back again. Farming on the Rancho Vega. I hear they were starting up again. You two know each other? Well, not officially. Carlos, how about saying howdy to Roy Rogers? Howdy. How are you? What was all the arguments about these crates? Well, I'm drilling a test well back on the Mesa. They were supposed to deliver this equipment at the inlet. It's pretty heavy, and I have no way of getting it back there. If he can get it there, he'll sure strike oil. Roy's one of the best wildcatters in the business. It seems to me he's a very good friend of yours. Sure is. He used to punch cows for me in Texas before he started to punch holes in the ground. <laughs> Maybe we can help him. I don't see why not. I think we can get that equipment in for you. Alkali, I take some of the men and go get one of the big wagons? Well, thanks, Carlos. I can sure use the help. The rest of my crew haven't arrived yet. That's all right, Roy. Just save us four or 5,000 barrels when that well comes in. Rogers, I want to talk to you. We have a little matter to settle. Yeah? Yeah. Get your money out. All these shipments are COD. Well, that's all right with me. That's all right. Roy pays off like a slot machine. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. There's your money. There's your receipt. Come on, Roy, let's go get the wagon. Well, that's a fine thing. You lend him your wagon, you let him use your road, and you give him your men. But he did nothing to me. Well, he did to me. Carlos, I don't know. That's the trouble with you. You're too friendly with strangers. But you are still a stranger, unless uh, you have changed your mind. You mean about giving up this tug? I like it. My father liked it. 
I guess it runs in the family. But you would like it better at the rancho. You would have the hacienda and your own servants and... Oh, Carlos, you're not going to propose to me again, are you? What? You have never said no. I haven't said yes either. Carlos, how can I take you seriously? All those escapades and not forgetting that weakness for gambling either. I don't like it. Billy, I have given that up. Honest. Want to make a bet? Why, sure, anything. See what I mean? Uh, you are always kidding me. Pounding of the hoofs and the creak of leather. Hear the squeaking of the wheels turning miles together. Hear the crack of whip and shout and call. Cause we're on the trail again. Oh, ride the carol's ride. Sounds of my side. Head for the horizon wide. Sing the song for carol. Look at that, Roy. About the best looking oil land I ever saw. Won't do you no good. We're on the Rancho Vega property. Well, where does that trail lead to? Down by the ocean. If there is oil around here, it might show up on the other side of those rocks. Oh, I wouldn't go down there, Roy. Why not? There's caves down there. Nobody never goes near them. They're haunted. Strange things happen. Folks have gone down wandering around and, and just come disappeared. Well, I'll take a look anyway. ready for those ghosts, cause we're going in. Feel that air coming out. It's cold. It's just like a graveyard. Roy? Wait a minute, Roy. You never have one of those spells until the going gets tough. Oh, Roy. Wait a minute, Roy. You ain't got sense not to be scared. I better come along. Roy and Alkali just came into the game. Hey, wait a minute. I wasn't one of them. I used to hunt for them. And it's like Joaquin Murrieta. Well, that's interesting. Murrieta's been dead 87 years. I wasn't talking about him. I was talking about his son, Joaquin Jr. He was the worst man than his old man. Never heard of him. Oh, Lord, let's get out of here. He was killed right here in this cave. Oh, come now, Uncle. It's the living truth. I hope his ghost comes back to haunt me.
boy. It's me, Alkali. Where'd you get that flashlight? I found it on the ground. Walk in Junior with the flashlight, huh? All right, it wasn't walking. Somebody hunting for buried treasure. There must be another way out of here. Oil. Oil? There's your buried treasure. Oh. <laughs> that must have been testing equipment those fellows were carrying. Come on. Again. Carlos, we found it. A bonanza, oil, bubbling up out of the ground, down the old rustler's cave. We ran into some men down there, and they started shooting at us. But they got away in a car. They weren't your men, were they? No, I have no reason to send my men down there. We have always known the oil was in the caves. You have? Oh, See? you think you have discovered something bigger? Ever since I was so high, we was used that oil for medicine. <laughs> It's one of the best oil formations I ever saw. I'm surprised you haven't tried to develop it. I could not have done so, even if I would want to. But you see, the land title has just been cleared through the courts. I only have half interest. The other half belongs to my cousin Rosa. Well, think of all that money. Oil wells springing up like mushrooms. You just ain't going to let that oil sit there, is you? Easy, Alkali. Rogers, you know what a gamble it is. You would have to borrow money on the ranch to start the drilling. And then take a chance on losing it. Well, it wouldn't be much of a gamble. Well, we will leave it up to Rosa. She is coming tomorrow for Mexico. I will talk with her. She may change her mind, but I don't think so. I'll see you later, Carlos. I have a little oil business of my own to take care of. And thanks again for the use of your wagon. See. Hello, Carlos. Oh, hello, Calhoun. Take a walk, will you? I'll just sit down. Alkali, give us a couple of minutes. Sure. I'll be around if you need me. Who is that, your bodyguard? I did not know I need one. Well, maybe you don't. We'll let that pass. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. About $147,000. I will. I will pay you back. I had a good offer for the oil rights at the ranch. Well, that's fine. I was getting a bit worried. I hadn't seen you out at the gambling ship lately. You think you'll sell the oil rights? As far as I am concerned. But I have a partner, my cousin Rosa. I might have a little trouble convincing her. She has some silly sentimental idea that oil addicts will destroy their ranch. Well, Carlos, that's your problem. But I want that uh, bill straightened out. I don't like overdue accounts. You will get your money. We always do. Carlos. What did Reed Calhoun want? Oh, oh, just drumming up a little business for his gambling ship. Oh, Carlos, you promised. You'll never make any money that way. It'd be a lot easier if it was just Carlos who owned that ranch. You ought to be a mind reader. You know, I know just a fellow who'll tell Rosa's fortune for a few bucks. Senor Carlos, I have big surprise for you. Rosa! Carlos! <laughs> I would not have known you. Papa, I changed so much. Of course you have changed. I have not seen you since you were all of 15 years old. You were not so much older yourself. <laughs> Hello. Rosa, I want you to meet Miss Colby, Billy. I almost said my fiancé. <laughs> We haven't agreed on that yet. I am very happy to meet you. Thank you. And this is Alkali, my foreman. Hello. Howdy. Alkali, will you get the carriage? Right. Coming up. Ain't she pretty, Roy? <laughs> Don't know. I haven't had a good look at her yet. Stick around. I'll introduce you in a minute. <laughs> Right. Did you 
can see Rosa now. Has anyone been up there? No one has talked with her or seen her except the doctor, Billy, and myself. But the doctor says she will be all right. Oh, sure, she'll be all right so long as she doesn't mind a bullet hole in her right arm. I suppose you're going to hold Rogers, eh? What charge would I hold him on? If I want him, he'll be up there at his oil well. I would not be too sure about that. I'll be responsible for him, but I won't for Rosa. If you take my advice, you'll send her away somewhere until I find out more about this. Carlos, I think you're wrong about Roy. That may be so. But, Billy, there is no longer a mystery about this. Somebody is after that oil. Yeah, they certainly are. I think it's a good idea to send Rosa away, huh? Carlos. There's one way to find out who's behind this. You're going ahead with that welcome home party for Rosa. But how? The doctor will not let her leave the room. But nobody else knows that. You're giving that party and we're going to make them think I'm Rosa. Billy, no, you wouldn't dare. I will not let you. And besides... You don't think I'd let a little thing like this stop me, do you? Carlos, you have just become my cousin. Carlos, you better send somebody out to bring in that driver. Where is he? Out of the Mesa Road with a bullet in his back. They wanted to make sure he wouldn't talk. Rosa, this is your own room. And I will unpack the grip a little later. I want you to take a good rest. Oh, that's my senorita. I am so glad you are home. Oh. Then you don't know who fired the shot. I couldn't tell. They got away in a car. I think we had better phone the sheriff. Sure, that's just what I was thinking of. Carlos. I found this on the body. Does it mean anything to you? It is a $50 credit from the gambling ship. Might have some connection, but uh, this doesn't prove anything. I'm afraid you made a mistake bringing Rose out here. Well, it was a plan to find out who was trying to kill her. We were going ahead with the welcome, the homecoming party, just as if nothing had happened. It's pretty dangerous business. I hope you know what you're doing. I promise you, she will be well guarded from now on. You'd better turn that over to the sheriff. We'll wait for him out on the road. He might be able to identify the body. Senor! Senor Rogers! Oh, como que usted sabe mi nombre? In English, senor. I need the practice. I just wanted to know how you knew my name. Oh, that's right. Carlos, Carlos, my cousin, told me. I want to thank you, senor, for saving me from those guys. I mean, those hombres, Ooh. Oh, that's all right. You will come maybe to the party they give for me, no? I think that's a good idea. And you will bring your friends too, no? Sure, I'll even have them play for the party. Thank you. Gracias. Adios, cowboy. Adios, senorita. Now, ain't that sweet. Boy, that Roger sure works fast. See you at the party, Carlos. After wishing well, there is magic, they say. For the poets tell how each dream comes your way. Make a wish at the wishing well. Have a street of gold or a cottage for two. Be discreet or bold. Any dream will come true Make a wish At the wishing well The door to fortune is open To whatever you may aspire Just drop a coin and watch the ripples, they'll bring back your heart's desire. At the wishing well, any beggar is king, wrapped up in a dream. Akilai, what was you wishing for? 
Oh, I was wishing for the old days. You were so young, beautiful, and so slender. Why don't I keep my big mouth shut? Ese ando fundo si amor El día que llegué a amarme Entonces ya he feliz Lo que pidas tú, eso se te dará Lo que sueñes tú, se te concederá At the wishing well. Ah! That was fun, senor. It was very good, senor. Senor Roy, that was charming. Thanks, I did it especially for you. Gloria de los de Sales. I beg your pardon? Gloria de los de Sales. Wishing well. Oh, see. Si. Well, that is one way to say it. Uh, senorita. Senor Roy, look, look at the dancer. to get Carlos to send you back to Mexico before somebody took another shot at you. And you worry about me? <laughs> it isn't very safe here. Me, I'm afraid of nothing. You look for somebody? I wonder where Billy is. Billy? Yeah, the girl that runs a tugboat. The one that Carlos wants to marry. Oh, she should be here, shouldn't she? Maybe she and Carlos have a little argument. Senor Roy, you think this girl Billy make my cousin Carlos a good wife, hmm? He can have her. You do not seem to approve of her. She's all right if you like her type. What's the matter with her type? Well, if you must know, she's too hard to get along with. Snooty, nose in the air all the time. And that hair of hers is just about the color of Trigger's tail. Well, of all the crummy insults. I mean it, you Americanos say.
senorita. What is it? You better let me in. Why? Because I have your hair. Pretty smart, aren't you? I think you better tell me what the masquerade was for. Well, if you must know, I was only trying to help Carlos. I wanted to find out who took a shot at Rosa. That's fine, making a clay pigeon out of yourself. Oh, come now. Hey, you! What you sneaking around up there for? Oh, keeping my eyes open in case of trouble, just like Carlos told me. Come on down here and keep your eyes open. This where the work is. Okay. You see that? Even he could have taken a shot at you. Pete! Oh, don't be silly. Pete or anybody, you can't trust any of them. There's a million dollar oil field at stake and they're not gonna let anything stop them. Maybe I'd better get out of this. You better keep it on. If you want to help Carlos and Rosa keep them from being killed, you put that wig back on and do as I say. Rogers, I will kill you for this. Now hold on, Carlos. Let's find out about this. Who did it, Roy? I did. Roy! Well, you know you didn't. Why? What did you kill her for? She caught me looking for the geologist's report, telling how much oil there is on the land. We'll take care of him in our own way. Wait, hold it. Give me the guns. Lock him up in the wine cellar until we find out what has happened. Don't you worry, Roy. You'll get a fair trial. I'll go get the sheriff. Sheriff? Well, you better lock him up, too. He's as guilty as I am. Sure, I'm as guilty as he is. You too, Alkali? Me? What am I saying? Lock him up also. Carlos. Take him away. Don't touch me. I feel I got another spell coming on. Oh. Suppose you do a little explaining. Carlos, this was for your own good. I can explain everything, please. Hmm. This 19 and 11 went a little sour. Now, let's see, we have a little, uh... Uh... This 1895 really went bad. Still feel a little rocky, huh? Oh, sure, is it? It's no use, Alkali. The door's locked. It was kind of a mean trick pulling in on this murder charge, but you were going to tell the sheriff, and I didn't want him to know about it. At least not now, anyway. Besides, if I didn't have you along, I'd be down here talking to myself. All right, Roy. I guess I am a little stubborn. But there I was sticking up for you, saying you didn't kill her. I didn't. Oh, what'd you confess for? She isn't dead. I just wanted to make it look that way, so we could trap the real killers. If they think she's dead, we might be able to find out who they are and what their next move is. Roy, are you sure you didn't kill Rosa? Senor Roger is telling the truth. I am very much alive. You can hear for yourself. Hurry up, Skipper. Get that hatch open. Well, what do you think I'm trying to do? Play mumble pig? What are you doing? What are you doing here? Do I hear 
you are the gods. I am sorry I had to take them away, but I had to make it seem real. Thanks, Carlos. Any new developments? No. But you had better not go until it gets dark. Shh. Get over there. Well, there's no guard here. Yeah, but there may be one inside. We'll do just like we planned. Batter down the door, take away the surprise, and remember, we go on a count of three. I followed Roy and Alkali to a cave down by the beach. We gotta get smart about this. There's one little detail missing. Nobody seems to have notified the sheriff. That's right. But everybody was excited. I know. Always give the other fellow credit, Pete. Rogers might have an angle. Now look, you go tell the sheriff what happened and ride out there with him. And when you're sure what's happened to Rosa, come back here at the usual time. Right. Like kisses at night. There's nothing like bacon in the making when daylight's getting bright. No, there's nothing like bacon when you're waking, and nothing like kisses at night. Seems kind of strange how a few short hours can change your perspective. Just rearrange your point of view. What appeals to you is nothing like coffee in the morning. It hits the spot all right. No, there's nothing like coffee in the morning. And nothing like kisses at night. Out neath the moon, all you want to do is cool like a kitten. Sun rises soon. And then you'll find job is on your mind. There's nothing like coffee in the morning to make the world look bright. Give me plenty of coffee in the morning. At night I've been doing all right. Come and get it! So hungry I can feel my backbone. All right, you landlubbers, come on, get anchored. Let's take on a little ballast. That's town in any language. You'll be lucky if Alkali doesn't eat plates and all. <laughs> well, stand on manners, Billy. Just help yourself. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. Hey, boys. Over here, Alkali. It's the sheriff. Yes, and he's got Pete with him. No, 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 boy, in the hatch. Quick. about the goings-on at the Vega Rancho? Me? I don't know anything about it. We've been looking for Rogers in the caves. He's wanted for murder. Murder? Yes, murder. Around here? Listen, you'd have heard me scream plenty. Any guy that'll push a girl in the water is liable to do anything. He's a dangerous man. I can see it in his eyes. It shows you never can tell. He didn't seem like a man who would shoot down a woman in cold blood. Isn't that awful?
Say, you sure eat a lot. Oh, me, yeah. I, I have an awful appetite. I guess it's this ocean air. Sheriff, how was she murdered? Where was she shot? That's what I'm going to find out. I'm going up there now and have a look at the body. Body? Listen, Sheriff, why don't you stop by Roy's oil well? He may be hiding out around there. It isn't much out of your way, and it won't take you much longer. He's dangerous. He's a killer. I wouldn't let him be at large. That's a good idea. Come on, Pete. Yeah. You hear that, Roy? That squealer Pete must be one of the men we're after. That's a good joke on the sheriff, riding all the way up there, and he ain't gonna find the body. <laughs> Roy, I think we'd better follow Pete. We'll follow him, but after he finds the body. But, Roy, I just said... Alkali, they were... we've got to beat the sheriff to the hacienda. We'll see you later, Billy. Yeah. Mason. Yes. Who's that? My poor little Rosa. You were right, Pete. Let's take a look. Yeah. No, 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 not you. You go do your work. Come on, the band moves. Just a minute, Sheriff. I want to talk to you. And I want to talk to you. I guess that clears you, Rogers. But I don't see why you didn't handle all this through my office. That's easy. We didn't know who we could trust. What? I have a good mind to run you in for a revival. I mean, like I that. mean, Roy! I'm gonna have a spell. Senor Roy! Huh? Senor Roy! See, Roy, I was watched like you tell me that Pete was right towards town. You see, Sheriff, we'd better pick him up and question him. Yeah. <laughs> Me to meet him tonight at the usual time. Wait. Let's see what he's doing. See you later. Oh, don't forget, save me a seat on that 8 o'clock boat, will you? 8 o'clock. I'd sure like to know who he's going to meet on that boat. We'll follow him and find out. Uh-uh. That ship's on the high seas. That's out of my jurisdiction. Well, it isn't out of mine. We'll trail him for you if you want to trust us. Well, in this case, I guess I'll have to. Good. Alkali, round up the pioneers and meet him at the cage tonight. I'll keep an eye on him until then. Sure, Roy.
eight o'clock. Yeah. It may be just a coincidence. But let's go in. I'll get you in. I'll show you how I did it for Dewey in the Battle of Manila. Fifty years ago, huh? I got the Navy young. Light about my age. You signed by Carlos Vega. Twenty thousand dollars. Four thousand. Fifteen thousand five hundred. It all ties up, Alkali. They let him run up a gambling debt so they could force him to sell that oil land. Yeah, but only rules that wouldn't sell. Some good news. Good. Come on into the office. Get him out. No, not you. Okay, boys. Outside. Come on, back to your tables. Back to work. Yeah, you sure messed this up. Well, gentlemen, there's $147,000 worth of IOUs missing. That means we pay a little visit to Carlos. I can't go back to that ranch now. 
When do I get the rest of my money? Don't worry, Pete. You'll get it. I told you they were playing for keeps. Poor Pete. Poor us. Sure could have used him as a witness. Well, there's nothing on him. I've been trying to get something on that recaloon for a long time so I could clean up that gambling boat. But he'll probably wiggle out of this one, too. He talks fast, and he's got a smart lawyer. I wasn't going to mention these, Sheriff. I was going to give him back to Carlos. But since it turned out the way it did, maybe you can use him against Calhoun. They're IOUs. Why, that matinee, Caballero, almost getting Rosa and me killed over a gambling debt. I wouldn't blame Carlos too much. They went after him deliberately and framed it so he'd lose. It's the oil on Carlos's land, Sheriff. They're trying to get him to sell the rights to it. So Carlos has been holding out on us. We'd better talk to him. I think it's a pretty good idea. Hey, wait a minute. Who's going to watch this body? That'll be your job, Billy. Me? You'd better stay out of this. There might be some shooting. you're going to take over these ranch for $147,000. You've got me all wrong, Carlos. I don't want the ranch. I just want the oil ranch. The oil ranch? Then you are the one who has been trying to kill Rosa. Jose, get the sheriff. <laughs> sheriff won't do you any good where you're going, Carlos. So that's the way it is. Well, we'll stretch him out a little bit and see if we can change your mind. Put him in a car. <laughs>
I think it is my arm, Sheriff. Well, we'd better look at it, see if we can't fix you up. I am going to need it. Ross and I are going in the oil business with Senor Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> 